in the Birnbaum Siddur on page 713, it has the Megillus HaChashmonoim, translated the Scroll of the Chashmonoim, which tells the story of Hanukkah, at least part of it. And it is also known as Megillus Antiochus, the Megillah of Antiochus. It is similar to some of the versions of the Book of Maccabees, and there are a number of different versions of the Book of Maccabees, <laughs> which tell the story of what took place. It's very, very interesting to read. It tells the story, has a lot more information than we learned in Hebrew school about the events that take place, but it does highlight inside of it the three things that the Greeks tried to stop of the Jewish people, and that was Shabbos, Rosh Chodesh, and Milah. The keeping of Shabbos, the establishment of Rosh Chodesh of the new month, and of Mila of circumcision, and it has within it stories of the sacrifice of the Jews, their unwillingness to give up Shabbos and Mila. That they said, no, we will not go away from Shabbos, no, we will not stop circumcising our children, and very dramatic events that highlight this. They don't have any description, though, of Rosh Chodesh of the Jewish people giving up their life for Rosh Chodesh. So the question is, why not? And the answer is, because Shabbos and Mila depend on each and every one of us to keep. Rosh Chodesh is done by the Bezdin, by the Sanhedrin. So that, they have to learn, the leaders have to learn on their own what to do. Where will they get the inspiration from? You. Shabbos and Mila, those mitzvahs kept by the Jewish people will hopefully give the inspiration to the leaders of the people also in establishing the months and therefore the times of the holidays. Once again, a happy Hanukkah, a Prelechen Hanukkah to everyone, a Listiger Hanukkah to everyone.